bag it at the thrift store. Let's find out. Thrift haul. Hi everyone, today I'm gonna be doing a thrift haul slash estate sale haul. I just got back and I got some really great things. It was 50% off at the estate sale that I went to. So let's get into what I got. First, I'll start with what I'm wearing. I got this bolo tie. I got a couple of them. This one's the first one. It has this really pretty stone on here. I don't know what kind of stone that is, um, but I'm sure I could find out on the internet. And then this one has like a green and brown like lace. That one was $5. I got this cow skull one, pretty classic. This one was $6. This turquoise one, also a classic. This was also $6. This one, it's like an agate of some sort. I believe. That's what it looks like to me anyways. Uh, this one was $5. More of a raw stone one. This one was $3. Good deal. This one, another raw stone one, and this was also $3. And then this black and silver one. This one was labeled $5. I think that's what she charged me. But I'm not sure because it was 50% off. So for all of these ones, I spent $33, which I think is a good deal because at most estate sales, they have one in the glass case up at the front for like $35 or $40 or more. So I'm really happy with the deal I got. I've been wanting some bolo ties for a really long time uh, since like high school and I'm excited to actually have some now. They're sort of like statement pieces. So I was kind of scared of spending too much money getting one and then not liking how it looked or like not ending up wearing them. So I'm excited to have gotten these for a little bit cheaper of a price and I think I actually will wear them because I was wearing that one for the rest of the day and I definitely liked it and the like statement piece without being like big gaudy jewelry, if that makes sense. So that's all the bolo ties I got. Next are these rain boots. They're super heavy duty. The brand is Lacrosse, it says made in USA. They have like really good tread on them. They look like they were barely worn and they were labeled at $10. You can see that. There we go. So I only paid five for them. They even have like a wool insert on the bottom, if you can see that. So they're not only going to protect me from the rain, but I think be super warm. I think these will be great for like going to the beach in the winter, stuff like that. And I tried them on and they fit. So pretty cool deal on those. I looked it up online and this brand is going for like a hundred dollars brand new. So really good deal for five bucks. Next, I got this brass planter. It has a little thing that you can hang it on and looks like that on the inside. This was labeled $12, but for 50% off, I got it for $6. I think I might hang this like by the entryway um, and put a little plant in it. I'm not exactly sure. I feel like this could have a lot of different uses, but that's what I have in my mind to do right now is put a little plant in it. Next, I have this wood carved jar. This one was labeled $10 but 50% off, got it for five. Has a pretty good seal on it and looks like that on the inside. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in this yet. Maybe like matches or something for my like little setup where my candles and plants are in the living room. But it was really pretty and I have some plant stands that are similar to this so I thought I'd add to my collection. Next I have some more shoes. So I have these burgundy Sperry's with like a little buckle on them. They're a little bit like wide, but I feel like I can wash them and sort of squeeze them together to remold the leather. Um, so I'm hoping that that works, but otherwise they fit and they're super cute for like a casual, like preppy look. I paid $2 for these ones. Next I have some sandals. I have these like classic, like I feel like these are like the shoes you find in Hawaii all the time. Uh, they have these down at the beach by where I live, but they're like $30 a pair, so I've never dropped money on them. And I found a few pairs at the thrift store, but they never fit right. They were either too big or too small. So I'm really excited that I finally found a pair that fit me. 
And funny story with these, when I first found them, I actually only found the left shoe in the closet. And I was super bummed because we couldn't find the other one anywhere. And then we went throughout the house and I put this like on the whole table. And then finally found the other one in another closet, like up in a shoe rack. So thankfully I found both of them. But that's kind of a funny story that I thought I was going to be so close yet so far. But I did find them and these were only $2.00. The next pair of shoes are these clogs. They're wooden and leather and they have this label on them that says made in Sweden. Pretty cool. Super authentic clogs and really well made too and barely worn because the whole bottom soles are super like intact and as you can see it says 25 dollars on them but when we went to check out and the cashier was like adding everything up and giving us prices he gave these to me for only five dollars i'm not sure why i got such a hefty discount on these or maybe these weren't labeled by them i don't know but i'm not asking questions i just said Perfect, I'll take them, thank you. And they're super cute. I think they go great with this outfit that I have on right now, this dress. Uh, I have a lot of stuff that they'll go with, so that's why I got them. Next, I got this little tray with like a handle that holds like tools. And I put some things in here. I got this little screwdriver, another little screwdriver. This says Canon on it. So it's some sort of like camera screwdriver. I don't know. It looks like a normal screwdriver to me, but it's kind of cool with the Canon logo and then a little like um, pen type like clamp put like in your pocket. Pretty cool. And then two little knobs. I think I'm going to put these in the bathroom to sort of warm up the bathroom a little bit. A good trick when you're renting is to replace things so you can have a personalized home but keep a bag or a box with all of the things that you replaced so when you leave you won't get like marked for replacing things or quote unquote destroying things so you keep the box with all the stuff that was originally in the house or apartment and then when you go to move out you replace everything back and take the things that you purchased so that's what i'm going to do with these i'm going to take the ones that are in the cabinets now out Put these in and then keep the ones that were originally in there like under the sink or in a box with some of the other stuff that we've replaced and then a little pair of pliers i have some pliers these will be a great addition to my collection of pliers you never know when you might need a little tool like this and then of course the little tray super cute with a little handle it'll definitely come in handy when i'm like putting shelves up or like fixing up something i go to the thrift store and i have like loose screws so i could just put them in here with like a screwdriver so i don't lose them under the couch or anything that's why i got this and then all of those items plus this cost me two bucks so lastly i got two shirts this one for me it's just a navy blue henley t-shirt i love a good henley so i got this one definitely old it says kids extra large so hoping it fits oh it's a little big for kids extra large but i'm thinking it should fit and then i got this shirt for my boyfriend and both of those i think he said were two dollars each if i'm remembering correctly but yeah so that's everything in the little haul for today they actually had the option of getting your receipt emailed or texted to you and i picked the text option which is really cool because paper receipts are super toxic and they're not recyclable so i tried to avoid them at all costs because they're not just paper they're paper coated in plastic and they're impossible to separate the plastic from the paper so this is my receipt i got this text and then you just click the link and then it shows you what you spent and gives you like a little breakdown but yeah i'm really happy with the haul today super excited about those bolo ties and those sandals Two things I've been searching for for a really long time and I finally found some good ones. If you've had any cool finds at your local thrift store or estate sales lately, let me know in the comments down below. I always love to hear about them. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I come out with new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and sometimes Saturdays. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye!